We are very excited about this deal because it, it opens up uh, all the the biggest market and we are going with, uh, with the main broadcaster, Nickelodeon. And most important, we realize that we share the same vision, which is to entertain kids first and then of course uh, get also into the consumer product business. And that is the perfect match which uh, we hope into the perfect formula which has worked uh, perfectly in Europe and uh, we hope it will repeat in America. I think that uh, the Wings deal with Nickelodeon is extremely important also because um, Nickelodeon has not only acquired the old seasons and the movies but decided to co-produce five uh, series five and six, uh, season five and six with us. This is extremely important because it gives the project the continuity that we need uh, for the next three to four years to keep growing the audience and keep the brand uh, strong internationally and worldwide. And uh, same for UK. In the UK, Winx never had a real chance. It was just shown uh, here and there, season one and season two. Now with Nickelodeon taking care of it in terms of distribution as well, we feel quite confident that, uh, definitely confident that, that uh, um, a success will come. Nickelodeon surely is a very well organized and professional company. We are very impressed also by the way they have react very quickly to with the marketing plan in this in these few months. But um, beside this, we think that they know really how to to to, to market a brand and bring it and bring it to to a success. When there's a ground, they definitely make it happen. And for the next adventure... Be prepared to see the wake! Where you've never seen them before! The last fairy on Earth is in danger, and she doesn't know it yet. The fact that Wings will be start airing next year with four specials on Nickelodeon, and then uh, season three and four strip daily, and then uh, the movies, and then uh, season five and six in co-production, and therefore it will be definitely even better with their contribution make us uh, very confident that uh, in the US we will get uh, the girls to to really appreciate and love wings the same way that it happened in continental Europe and and in Russia or in Asia where wings is already popular since a series of years The appeal, in my opinion, mostly is due to the fact that uh, the, the audience can easily identify which each one of the fairies has a different character, different, very distinct look, and so each one can identify and prefer one of them. The fact that it lasts uh, quite a while, uh, I believe, is due to the fact that in every season we work a lot to renew the content, to refresh the look and to give more contemporary feeling to the whole content. I feel quite positive from our focus groups as well. Pop Pixie has this uh, kind of energy and this comedy element which uh, appeal to many kids from Asia to Europe and hopefully America as well. Uh, we believe that comedy is always something that makes the people feel uh, you know, heartwarming and uh, happy and so something that, that uh, it's easier to enjoy than some other kind of shows where, where you have maybe action which is a certain way in America and in Japan is a different way. 
I, I'm quite positive, like I said, and, and the first testing ground was France and rating us fantastic. So we, we look forward to the next few countries which will open up. The theme park is a dream which I had uh, since quite a while. I remember the first time that I talked about building a theme park in Rome. It was in 2005 or 2006 uh, to a journalist like you. And they asked me what would be your biggest dream for your character in the next uh, few years. And I say I would like to have them in a, in a kind of rainbow, rainbow land, uh, a theme park uh, in Rome. And so since then actually I started to work on the project and uh, it was a long way. Lots of uh, tedious paperwork and lot of um, work also to find the right partners to, to work with. And uh, now of course uh, we are in construction since over a year and uh, we are very excited because next April, latest May, we should be opening and uh, I've been there even recently there's a lot of things already built there's uh, nice rides already tested so I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to see this rainbow magic land where we hope that uh, the family can, can spend a day thinking like they enter a magic world Next big plan, to be honest, uh, is uh, which I'm focusing a lot, is to move Rainbow into the CGI and uh, visual effect uh, movie business. We have been um, testing the ground again with the Wings movies, which has been quite successful. But our real, uh, our real uh, test, I would say, will come with the Gladiator. This, this Rome uh, move, uh, movie on the ancient Rome with, with gladiators, but it's a comedy. And uh, it's a movie which we have been working since four years, and uh, we are still one year from completion, so very long time. And um, the, the script is by Michael Wilson, the, the writer of Ice Age and many other animated movies. And I believe this movie will we'll, uh, put Rainbow on the map of also the, the produ pro producer of CGI movies. And this is a division which I would like to, to bring to a certain success like <clears throat> for television and I see Rainbow growing both sides, TV and, uh, and uh, in the movie industry in the next uh, few years. We have uh, this division, Rainbow Media, who is producing online games, MMO games, and uh, I think that the uh, internet is getting more and more popular and important in the time spending of our, our audience, which are children and twins. And so uh, we're definitely going to invest more and more into the online content, because that's where the beside television and movies where the kids are and so we, we will, uh, like I said, continue to develop. Now we started the Wings MMO game but we have other games in, in the pipeline and uh, that's an area where I see also Rainbow Group growing.